Hi, this is question 3 from the AQA Further Pure for Jan 2010 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I would like you to try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and do that. Okay, well done for having a go, if you had a go. Um, I'm now going to give you a hint to the question, if you're a little bit unsure. So, in this question, we're asked to expand and simplify this as far as possible. So, if you think about the um, the rules of um, expanding brackets um, are the same when we're finding the cross product. So, we could try and expand these out and think about what would happen if any two fa factors were parallel to each other and what that would mean. Once you've done that, um, when we get to this part of the question, where we're looking for, um, you well, we're looking at using the definition. Um, I'll write it down over here. That a cross b is equal to the magnitude of a times by the magnitude of b sine theta, sorry I should say the magnitude of A cross B is equal to the magnitude of A times by the magnitude of B sine theta and because A and B are perpendicular to each other what is that going to mean over here? So there's your hint, so if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at finishing this question off. Okay, for the next part of the question I'm going to go through the answer to the question. So, starting with part A, we're asked to expand and simplify this. So, um, if I start by saying, well, I'm going to have A cross A, and then I've got plus A cross 3B. I'm going to write that as 3A cross B. And then I'm going to take away 4B cross A. And I'm going to take away, um, I've got my 4 times through, which is 12. And then I've got B cross B. Okay, now um, what we should realize hopefully is that um, the vector a and the vector a are the same vector so parallel to each other so when I find the cross product of any two things that are parallel to each other um, they're just going to um, give us a cross product of zero um, and likewise over here so what I'm actually going to be left with is so, so that's going to go and that's going to go and I'm left with 3a cross b take away 4b cross a. Now what I want to do is I want to write this as a cross b and if I switch the order of these that means that it would be um, the negative of this so in this case that's going to turn to positive so 3a cross b plus 4a cross b. Okay, so this and this mean exactly the same thing. Now what's nice now is that I can simplify this further because I've got 3 lots of a cross b and 4 lots of a cross b so all together that's going to give me 7 lots of a cross b. So what we started with has now simplified down to this here, 7a cross b. Okay, part b, okay, so for part b we're asked to, well we're given that a and b are perpendicular to each other, so these two factors are perpendicular to each other, so we want to deduce that this is true. So I started with this here and I know that that is equal to 7a cross b 
So what I'm looking for is the magnitude of 7a cross b being equal to that here. So I'm going to write this as 7 and I'm going to use my definition over here say so, well 7a cross b is going to be equal to 7 lots of the magnitude of a times by the magnitude of b sine theta ok and we know that sine theta because they're perpendicular to each other is going to be equal to 1 so that means that 7 is going to be equal to just 7 times by the magnitude of A times by the magnitude of B um, and that's what we're being asked to show and that tells us that lambda in this case is going to be equal to 7 ok, um, thanks very much for joining me for that question and I hope to see you again soon